Hello, all my beautiful sisters. Oh, I tell y'all, I have so many good friends on this YouTube community, and I thank God for bringing them in my life because uh, they are so positive people. Let's say prayers. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you. Just thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Thank you for blessing those who you put in my life. Give them the word to speak in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. What we got? Oh, what a burger. I was out uh, uh, for lunch and I said, you know what? I don't, I don't remember doing a water burger video. And if I did, oh, forgive me because I'm going to do another one right now. This morning, um, I heard Food for the Soul. She is just really a positive person. Then I also uh, saw that she shared me. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm going to learn. But uh, you are a blessing to me and, and for so many others, I'm sure. So thank you. Y'all, how do I, we're supposed to open this up? Is it childproof? My God. Oh, this that spicy ketchup. Uh, I know y'all familiar with Whataburger spicy ketchup. It's good. So, thank you for your encouraging word. Thank you. Um, I'm getting so many um, subscribers. I was at a FedEx. I had to send a package out. And she told me that I had a beautiful personality. I told her that I did have a YouTube uh, channel. She actually gave me her phone and said, can you look, can you put it on my phone? I put it up for her. And before I got from the FedEx office to Whataburger, she was already subscribed. My God. Uh -huh. Have your way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, it's been quite good and hot. That's why I need my hot sauce. With spicy uh, ketchup is good too, but y'all know I like... Uh, Ketchup and hot sauce on my fries. Y'all, I'm having so much fun on your YouTube page. I really am. I really am. So, thank you all. For all my subscribers. New and old. Now, the ones that's just coming on today. Oh, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I really do love it. I do, I do, I do. Um, we, me and my son did the hot dog challenge. We did it wrong. We used both of our hands and we didn't have a timer. So a redo is coming soon. <laughs> I was looking at Molly's vlog and then I had to go back and look at some others and I'm thinking like, we did it all wrong. So we'll have to do it again. Y'all, uh, I'm so happy. I know y'all see it. And like um, a food for the soul say, and I know y'all hear me say her name all the time, but she really is so positive. As she said, we have to encourage ourselves. You know, from all that I went through, and where I am today, I know that. But sometimes, you know, we, we're still humanists and we, we, we have our days, you know. And so I thank her for her encouraging word today. And then, you know, yesterday my co-worker Rachel and my son David, they, 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 they uh, spoke over me. So God always knows what we stand in the need of. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, dating. I'm going to ask a question. When you're dating, Steve Harvey says, wait 90 days. Me and this man was walking out the store today, and he said to me, where are the old days? And I said, I don't know, baby. 
they gone away. He could have been like 70. I say, I ask myself that all the time. Things have changed. So with dating, again, it changes. How long today should we wait to have sex? How long should we wait to kiss on the lips? How long should we wait to invite them to our home? Because everybody can't come in your house. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, this is a jalapeno burger, and I don't think they did not give me no jalapenos. Oh, yes, they did. They down now. Oh, yes, they did. I need to taste some jalapenos with the first bite. So, how long do you wait to invite them to your house? Or, how long do you think you need to wait before they invite you to their house? Mm -hmm. That's my question today. Because I think that before, now I've done I've done some fast stuff too, y'all, over the over the over the months. If I have to say me, they got to prove themselves to me that they're worthy, that they're trustworthy, and to know that even if you if you if I invite you to my home. And if, I, if we're having a cocktail, I can leave my cocktail on the cocktail table and go to the ladies' room and come back and you just slip nothing in it. You know, I've been through that before. So I think we just got to hang out, talk, watch, listen. Mm-hmm. Because everybody... that's hiding something, it will come out over time. My next question, oh, that's spicy. I, I just that pepper. Mm -hmm, I got it now. My next question is about married people. I have been there. If your spouse cheats over and over again, how many times do you think or feel that you can forgive him or her? Think about that. Comment below. Because when I think about my last relationship that was three years and my love as I tell y'all was brilliant and strong and you know for him and he was going with divorced but he kept going back and forward from me to her even though he was divorced and a lot of times when he said, well, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. It's like that person on them drugs, I won't do it no more, I won't do it no more. And he kept doing it, and I kept forgiving and forgiving until that one day came and I said, I'm done. I packed up my stuff, and it was my, I, I left my place to move to another city because we worked together, and I knew I could not see him anymore because on the last time I said no more, he remarried his ex-wife. I could not look at him because I wanted to kill him. So I had to leave my job and move away. But I had a new job. that A, a new job called me, the one I am right now, just two years. It's going to be two years on Sunday that I've been here at this job. But, excuse me, I had to leave my city. And go to another city just to get over him. Yeah. 
So my question again is for married people. If your spouse cheat, how many times do you think you can forgive before you say I'm done? Or do you just forgive every time they do it? Because today, with dating or courting, it's the same. You're not married, but everybody want to have a lot of partners. No. Mm-mm. Well, oh yeah, this is Fanta Strawberry. You know, one of my favorites. There's so many levels before you say you're inclusive. Mm -hmm. So, it all depends on what your status uh, is with, with dating and courting. I think if a man say, I, I don't even know if they say it anymore, but let's just say, hypothetical, a man say, Nita, uh, will you be my girl? You're going to be my woman. You're going to be my lady. I think when it comes to that, we are inclusive. That means it's just you and me. No outsiders. Period. Mm -hmm. How many dates do you have to do Today, before you cook for him, <laughs> that's another question. Cause you know that happened to me. I met this guy, the one who I said keep contacting me every single day now. He got used to me cooking that good old home food, right? And then there were times when he came over and, you know, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to take me out, you know. Yeah, he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. And then when I noticed it, I took a step back. So when he came over and he said, you know, I um, I need some snack on. Okay, I'm going to give you some of these checks Mix up in here. Because that's how you, you get some peanuts or some checks Mix. You ain't getting no rice and no gravy and no potatoes and no smothered chicken and no, you ain't getting none of that. You want a snack? I'll give your ass a snack. Mm-hmm. So for me. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to treat me and wine me and dine me. Mm-hmm. Before I get over that stove and put my love in that food. And then he start to love it. Because, you know, he didn't want to go away. But he didn't have a choice. So, he told me that I put the fire under him. And so, he, that's why he keep trying to come back. I don't, I don't need your fire now. When I, when I wanted your fire, you didn't have your fire. Mm-hmm. So here's another question. <laughs> when men have lack, uh, and vice versa, men, when ladies have lack, do you want to teach? Because, you know, people, men and women, men are going to treat you like you allow them to, and the same vice versa. But, if a man don't know, if a, if, a, if a woman don't know how to correctly, you know, treat you or love you or do you, do you teach them how to love you? Do you teach it or do you feel that they should already know? I have my opinion about that. Only because everybody don't know love. Everybody didn't have love in their homes coming up. I raised my hand. I was one of them. 
if God did not teach me how to love, I wouldn't know how to love. Yeah, my love is so huge and big. So do you teach? I think, yeah. Because if they don't know, you have to teach them how to treat you. Mm hmm Yeah. And I know we are also in a new day with, with, with age dating. You know, I like my man young. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I tried the ones who 50 and above. Saw that look? No, I'm not very really impressed. I like my man 10 years, my junior. <laughs> yeah. And I say that because, and I like it because I have so much energy. You know, that man my age so stuck in his way, he don't want to do shit. Well, honey, fine. you can sit on that sofa and lay across that bed all damn day if you want to. This hood girl get on the other side of that door. I'm going to live. So that's why we don't get along. You know, they too set in their ways, you know. Um, I need that vibrant, <laughs> playful, energetic man for this hood girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me, let me know y'all thoughts down below. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for lunch. And I look forward to another day to sit with you and talk with you and laugh with you and drink with you as well. <laughs>